Welcome back everyone. I am your host Rabbit and this is my playthrough of Magic Knight Ray Earth where we left off in the previous episode. We rushed to Polizu Village where we saw half of the town was destroyed but the other half was kind of okay. Oh god. Ah. The other half was somewhat alright thanks to Lakino using his barrier once again. And yeah, after chatting with him we finally made our way to the volcano, which is known as the Lair of Truth. So that is where, that is where we left off. And we're going to, <gasps> fuck me. We're gonna continue exploring this place. And so far it hasn't been, oh my God. No, no. I probably did not need to jump off here. Oh my God, no. Come back. Don't leave me with these falling fireballs. So let's jump up this way, and I want that. Let's see. Okay. Let's kill this stupid thing. Oh, very fortunate for me. Another amulet. And I, whoa, foo! You just took off running, girl. You gotta slow down. Ugh. And then yay! It looks like this is what all we needed to do to get this. And the winner is Hikaru. So we'll go ahead and give that to her. Woo, and thank goodness we're done with this fucking room. Oh, shit. Oh, God. No, no. Ah! Oh, no. Really? Okay. We can do this, though, guys. No worries whatsoever. So we'll kill this stupid thing. And let's see what's over here to the wet. Can I go up? Okay. <laughs> this game definitely doesn't play around. If you are not supposed to go a certain direction, it's not going to let you. Ah! Well, let me go ahead and just apologize in advance if my commentary is going to be sparse and lacking. But I am trying to focus on not dying here is an ordeal in and of itself. All right, so let's kill this stupid monster. Fuck you. Oh, God. Is there anything up here? No. But thanks to Foo's OP homing arrows. And those little horse things aren't really being that aggressive. Oh, thank God, a water fountain. <gasps> what? What are we supposed to do? Guys, like, we can't touch it or we get hurt. Like, is it just hot? Like, do I have to cool it down? Is that what the deal is? <gasps> oh! Oh, thank God we found this. Okay. But unfortunately, that still is not the path we're supposed to take. But there was a chest down here, so I'm going to take that as this is the way we need to go. So how are you guys all doing? As I said at the start, I'm doing okay. Been a little bit down due to the passing of my old friend. But you know, aside from that, my life personally hasn't been too crazy. Work has been its usual, just a little bit of a pain in the ass. But the U.S. also got a really crazy... Uh, 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 uh. Let me hurry up and grab this. The U.S. got a really crazy ice storm, which, in my opinion, has been a bit over-sensationalized. I mean, I lived in Kansas for four fucking years when I was doing my undergrad, and, you know, we had ice storms and fucked up weather all the time. Like, between the tornadoes and freezing rain and crazy snow, you know, I don't think what's going on right now is too nuts. It's definitely not normal, but... I definitely believe that our media has been overplaying what's going on. Because a lot of people that I've been talking to have been just like, oh my god, it's the end of the world. Look at this weather. And I'm like, I mean, the weather is extreme, don't get me wrong, but I don't think this is a sign that it's the end of the world. I do believe that it is fucking cold though, and that does suck. But we've had some power outages here in my neighborhood. But I think that is more related to the fact that... Oh, do we teleport on this? 
Oh, shit. I think that's more related to the fact that there's been a lot of construction in my neighborhood. So, whatever you want to chalk it up. Oh, God. Chalk it up, too. We have not been doing too well as far as our power is concerned. Ugh. Okay. Man, these platforms. And I wonder, am I supposed to go that way? Or, holy shit. No. Stop. What are you, are you standing on one of the... Okay, let me... No! Well, that is not what I wanted to do, but... I imagine we're just gonna be thrown everywhere, guys, because I have no clue exactly where we are. Let me go ahead and just repeat. Wow, seriously, Foo? Alright, let me back up. And let's go! Ah! Okay. All right, we've got this, guys. Oh, shit, maybe we don't got this, guys. But I'm not even concerned about treasure at this point. I just want us to make it through, not die. But so far, so good. Ah! <laughs> I overjumped that. No, stop this area. Wow, stop it. Those weird beetle fire centipede things are fucking me up. Okay, I gotta kill this stupid thing. Die and leave me alone. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Oh god. No, foo. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, okay. We can do this. Fuck you. Go away. <sighs> Great. But now foo is gone. And I gotta stand just the right point. Okay. Ugh. Okay. We can do this. We can do this. Ah! Okay. Woo! Alright, guys. So far, so good. Oh, I wonder. Can I get that? Maybe if I stand right on the edge. We're gonna try this. If I fall off and it takes me back to the front, I will not make you watch me come back to this point. Oops, I probably should have jumped off there. Okay. Woo, guys, this place is making me anxious. There's like fucking lava everywhere. Which, okay, let's do it. Oh, we made it. And the winner of this is Hikaru. Which I like, because I love Hikaru. Oh, but you know what? I probably should have given it to Fu so that she could come back. And now we're stuck. Great. Well, no problem. I will get us to the other platform. Or I'll completely miss it. Okay, guys. Give me a second to get on that stupid platform. Okay, so I made it. But I lost Hikaru as well. So... This is not looking promising, guys, at all. So as long as we're mostly done with the exploration part, this shouldn't be a problem. Oh my god. Guys, I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I am probably severely, extremely fucked. Run, run. Oh my god. Ah! Oh. Oh. Praise the lord. We made it. Oh my gosh. Whew. And I don't know about you guys, but I feel like that room had some choppy, choppy bits. So I don't know if it was just too much going on for my old system or what, but I apologize if it was a bit jittery. I'm just so glad we made it. Oh my god. <gasps> Woo! Alright, that should be... Is this Hikaru's machine? What? Alcyon's alive? Alcyon! I thought she died. Don't you have any medicine? You're... you're bleeding. If you don't take care of your wounds, you'll surely die. Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha 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 ha! That... that's fine. I... don't care. What are you saying? No matter what a person does, their life is still important. Hikaru, I fucking love you. Ha ha! So what are you going to do? Are you going to help your enemy? I mean, we might as well. Fu should be able to fucking heal her, although it's, it seems as though she likes to use it only for people that matter to her, such as Ferio. Yes! 
Ha ha ha! How stupid you three are! You don't know anything at all! Hmm? What, what are you saying? I worked and fought, did everything for him. I believed in him. I loved him. But I was a fool. What are you saying? What's wrong, Alcyone? Ha! <laughs> you really don't understand. You are so happy. So truly innocent. So clean and pure. As much as I want to kill you. What? What? Okay, well... As usual... Oh, God! What the fuck? Okay, no fucking around with Alcyone. What the fucking... Stop! Alcyone is so pissed off. Okay, I gotta heal. And we might have to just cast our magic spells. I think that's so far been the best strategy. And I gotta keep moving. Wow, I like walked right into that too. Holy fuck balls! Stop hurting Foo! Okay, I gotta switch for a second and just cast some fucking magic because this is... Wow, this is not working. Although, I don't know if our enemies have things that they're susceptible to, but... I wouldn't know what Alcyone's is. Okay. But we're just gonna spam Hikaru's shit. And at least this way I can kind of see spells in advance and dodge them. Okay. Oh shit! Umi, no! Where's Alcyone? Where'd she go? God damn it! Fucking sit still! Wow, we did not get her at all with that. We got you with that, bitch. Okay, we should be able to kill her. She's in the red. And I don't feel like... Oops. Oh, God. I, like, walked right into that. Okay, we gotta switch back to Fu. Heal our girls. And as long as we don't keep taking too much damage, we should be able to kill her. I'm gonna have to switch platforms. Holy shit! Where is she? Fuck you, Alcyone! Oh, I guess I landed on that platform. Alright, we got her! But I feel really bad about killing her, or hurting her. Alcyone! Haha, <laughs> it's okay. This is fine. Already over for me. Nothing. Goodbye, Magic Knights. Wait, is she dying? Goodbye, say God. Why didn't she just let us help her? Oh, she really liked they got, but... God, never lose yourself for a man, or a woman, if you happen to be a man. Or a man, if you're a man who likes men, or a woman, if you're a woman who likes women. Don't... Oh, why? Why am I crying? Umi, after all the trouble she caused for us, why? She looks so, so very sad. Alcyone. She seemed to know that we would defeat her this time. And what was it she was trying to say? I don't know. I don't understand any of this. Ascot, Rafarga, yeah, Caldina, and now Elcyone. Everyone's dead. Is this what we are fighting for? Will all this carnage save Zephyro? Umi, we're fighting to prevent this pain and suffering. The world has become this way because they got kidnapped Princess Emerald. If we save the princess, this pain and suffering will stop. There will be peace in Sephiro. So why don't we give it our best shot, Umi? Hikaru. That's right. We have to give our all so this can never happen again. You're, you're right. I'm sorry. Thank you, Hikaru. Fu. My name is Ray Earth. The statue. It's talking to us. Ray Earth. Hikaru Shido, I have seen your power. Now my power will be yours.
awesome. <gasps> Makona! And Clef! You've proven yourselves to be everything Emerald hoped you would be. You now possess the power to revive the three machines. Go now, return to Precia's Manor. She will show you the next path to travel. <gasps> Fuck yes. We did it, guys. We did it! That is awesome. Oh, shit. I wonder what, Z what Zagat has to say, knowing that he inadvertently murdered Alcione because she loved him so much. And he treated her like garbage. Master Zagat, I implore you, return me to my original form. What? The power of the Magic Knights can no longer be ignored. It is my duty to destroy them before they become powerful enough to threaten you. But to accomplish that, I must abandon this frail shell. What? Inova, Whoa. in times past, you have served as guardian and gatekeeper of Emerald's Castle. Yes, but I have accomplished nothing apart from your nourishing grace. If you choose to return to your beastly form as gatekeeper, you shall never be able to return to this present form again. Your wisdom and beauty will perish. A fitting price, my liege. Time spent in your service is the reward of a thousand lifetimes, sire. Don't you see? Only by destroying those that seek to thwart your glorious plan can I fulfill my destiny, lord. I beg for your blessing, sire. Inova. What the hell? Are they lovers? Like, what is the deal? His beauty shall perish. Which is fine, but I'm so confused. Maybe if Zagat had just been straightforward and... Wait, did this take us outside? Oh, thank God, it did. Okay, well, uh, we will go ahead and end here. Uh, well, we'll start out by listening to all of the diary entries. Then I'll sign off with you guys and we'll call it a day. But what a day it has been. Okay, so we've got two entries for each girl. Not too bad. We found this huge lion in the volcano. I wonder if this is my machine. Before we could find out, Alcyone appeared. She's still suffering from our last time around. If she's not healed soon, I think she'll die. It's a very matter-of-fact way of stating that. I can't believe that Alcyone hasn't had Zagat heal her yet. She's got to be close to dying. Maybe she was delirious, but she was saying some things that made no sense at all. Something has happened to Alcyon. The tone of our encounters has changed. Though she's standing before us, it seems like she's not even there. I wonder what's going on. I do very much feel sorry for Alcyon, especially reflecting on this particular entry from Fu. I just think that, in general, you shouldn't let yourself get so immersed in another person that you lose sight of who you are. And I guess she just loves Zagat so much that, I don't know, it seems like he's always had eyes for Nova, but let's continue. We've had a fun time, but it's also been sad. All I can say for certain is that we have to remember our experiences. It seems like we're soon to finally finish our quest to become Magic Knights. Looks that way. So many things are happening that if I didn't have Hikaru and Fu with me, I think I'd go insane. I have to remember to thank them. I hope they don't think that's too gushy. Alcyon was finally defeated. For some reason, I can't stop thinking about it. Weird, huh? Anyway, we have all three machines now, so we must return to Precia as Clef instructed. And that's it guys, that is a perfect concluding statement right there from Fu. So I'm gonna go ahead and save before I fucking forget. And actually, you know what? I am going to just go ahead and, well, I can't. I'm gonna go ahead and take us to Precia's Manor. This music is so much. And whenever we resume, I'd like for us to just automatically be there so you guys don't have to watch me run there. So we'll go ahead and take another couple of seconds, dart our way there, and while we're going, I will say that we are obviously nearing the conclusion of Magic Knight Ray Earth, so I can't believe that we've just been through so much. It's really crazy when you think about all the things that have happened so far in this game, and I've really liked it a lot, and I hope you guys have been enjoying this journey with me as well. All right, so we'll go ahead and resave. 
So we're here at Priestess Manor, and when we come back together on the next episode, we will talk to her and see what's left for us to do. So thank you so much again, guys, for joining me for today's set of episodes, as well as for just this LP in general. I've really appreciated all of your support, and you guys are just amazing. So I will finish replying to all of you who have messaged me. Like I said, I've just had a lot of crap going on with my friend passing away. Work's been crazy. We've been having power outages related to either the crazy cold weather or the fact that there's a lot of construction going on. But I will stay up to date with everything, and I will keep you guys posted on any other changes or little things that are going on with me. So thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. I am your host, Rabbit, and this is my playthrough of Magic Night Ray Earth on the Sega Saturn. Take care, folks, and I will see you soon.